One of my favorite topics and one of America's favorite foods, but with a twist, we're talking pizza. Artisanal pizza is the gourmet dish that we're talking about today, and it's very delicious when done right. Here to talk to us about it is a man who knows his pizza, Adam Cummins, president of the South Florida franchise and pizza pie maker here from Blaze. So you have all the fixings here in front of us, um, but you said the key is the dough, right? Yes, we make our dough fresh in house every single day so that our guests get a nice customizable experience with their pizzas as well as a fresh, never frozen dough. Okay, and that's a big difference from Blaze and all the other guys, right? Correct. Most of the other guys are, uh, they're using a frozen dough. Uh, mm -hmm. It takes a lot more work to do the fresh dough in house and we wanted to make sure that that was something that was gonna separate us. Okay, and you guys just introduced your 14 inch pizzas. This is what we're looking at right now? Yes, this is our 14 inch pizza right here. I'm gonna make a red vine pizza for you today. Go for it. We yeah. decided to go with the larger pizzas. And, you know, we, we started our business with a customizable 11 inch pizza and we've moved on to doing a 14 inch pizza as well and we added this product line so people could have bigger pizzas for parties and as we all know third party delivery has become a really big deal and this pizza has a little bit thicker crust same fresh dough but we perfect are able to do it perfect for parties and uh, you guys are expanding or you have several locations we have we have eight locations around South Florida. I'm going to add my, my Ovalini here as we do this. Oh, okay. And we have, eight, we have eight locations in South Florida. We are continuing to expand all over the country. We have 350 locations all around the country. And actually we're international now. We're in Canada. We are in the UK. We are heading, we're in the Middle East. Wow, and what, what's your success? We talked about the dough or what, what's the secret? Well, the secret is customizability. It's also the clean ingredients that we have. None of our ingredients will ever have any hormones. They'll never have any antibiotics. We are going to be 100% healthy for you. And the cool thing, Adam, is for those who haven't been inside a Blaze shop, this is the experience that you get pretty much. You see everything that goes into the pizza, right? You are a customer, Chris. I can tell that from, <laughs> from the, the way you're talking times, about. Maybe, yeah. Yes, so you, all the ingredients are laid out in front of you. You walk down our line. You can choose to do this um, any way you want. We have 40 different ingredients for you to choose from. I do not recommend you put 40 different ingredients <laughs> on your pizza. I've had, yourself. I've had two guests that have done that. It didn't go very well for them. Yeah. Uh, we remade their pizzas for them. But so obviously Red Vine is one of the favorites, but you also have several different unique to blaze types, right? Is, are those some of these right here? That, that's what some of these are right here. This is our meat eater pizza. I'm gonna finish up our barbecue pizza for you for a little bit. This is a red vine that we made for you, and this is a green stripe. Okay. Green stripe's a big favorite with people because you put their arugula on top of it and a nice pesto sauce, pesto drizzle, mm. and people love that. So this is our red vine pizza. It is, as I said, it's uh, ovalini. We put some bit fresh basil on it, we put some fresh tomatoes on it, and then some Parmesan cheese, and then we put a little, as a magic of TV, I will swap this pizza right here <laughs> with our Wow, that, that, so that baked on the table. Wow. And we throw on a little bit of olive oil at the end, a little olive oil drizzle to make you your red vine pizza. And just like that, well, thank you so much for staying here in the studio and showing us pizza. It's sure. not going to last for long, I can tell you that. And we're going to go ahead and toss it back to Holly, who might be sniffing what we're cooking over here.